Well, there's been another allegation of sexual harassment against Hollywood mogul Harvey Weinstein, and it looks like his legal problems are going to get even more complicated. With that, let's bring in Yelena Azik. So this story is developing as you and I speak right now, uh, first starting earlier in the week with the New York Times article and the developments, as I say, in the last hour. That's right. Yeah, as you say, uh, accusations that lead last up to two decades of sexual harassment and now this we have news that the lawyer the attorney that has been serving as uh, someone giving him advice and guidance has decided to call it quits so there you're getting a look at attorney lisa bloom she is the daughter of the very famous u.s attorney gloria allred and the two of them together could have potentially ended up in a case where Gloria Allred, the mother, would have represented a victim because she put the plea out there saying, any accusers, you can come to me, whereas her daughter was representing Harvey Weinstein. It was a very precarious and curious situation, and now that will not come to fruition because we have heard on Twitter that Lisa Bloom has, in fact, resigned and will no longer give guidance. Now, they had a deal in place. Harvey Weinstein was going to be taking a book from that particular lawyer and turning it into a movie. So there's no word yet on what's going to happen with that particular deal. Either way, we know that Lisa Bloom will no longer be giving him any advice. Now, that's one part of this. The other part of it, as you mentioned, we've got more accusations coming out. One that's uh, very new, uh, this is divulged to Huffington Post, Lauren Sylvain, I'm going to give you a look at her right now. This is a news anchor who says that a decade ago, she had an opportunity to meet Weinstein at a restaurant and later at a second restaurant that night in New York. She says that he cornered her in a corridor and forced her to watch him as he gratified himself. And so she says that uh, this is something that she was not able to talk about at the time and come forward and feels now clearly emboldened from all of the other women who are coming forward. And, uh, you know, we've been talking about Rose McGowan. We've been talking about Ashley Judd. These are just a few of the other big names that are also accusing Weinstein of sexual, uh, in some cases, various level degrees, but really sexual harassment. Mm -hmm. Sexual harassment. We're also uh, getting news of another celebrity who's facing sexual assault allegations, uh, Nelly rapper Nelly being arrested. Yes, that's right. So we've got rapper Nelly. Now, I'm going to give you a look at the very, some one of his music videos because he's really done so much in the music industry. Uh, this is someone who goes by the original name Cornell Errol Hayes Jr. And yes, it is uh, now documented that he has was arrested following a woman's claim that the rapper had allegedly sexually assaulted her on his tour bus while in Washington. And this was, uh, the accusation is that this happened in a town just outside Seattle. And this is an accusation that is denied by the Grammy winner's lawyer. I'm going to have you look at a statement right now from his rep. Have a look. Our initial investigation clearly establishes this allegation is devoid of credibility and is motivated by greed and vindictiveness. And the statement goes on to say, I'm confident once this scurrilous accusation is thoroughly investigated, there will be no charges. So... As with the other case, this is something that continues to go on, and we will keep you posted as, uh, as the days and weeks to follow because it, it is really remarkable how many people are weighing in and following this on social media. And so we'll be here to uh, share the latest news with you. Okay, Yelena, thank you. Thank you.